I decided to go to Mary's house to see what she wants exactly based off of the letter I received a couple weeks ago. Uh, I really hope she doesn't make me regret this. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. Whoa. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Woo, she is pointing her Linton. strap at me. All I did was knock on the door. Is this what it's like to be a man? Holy cow. Mary. Hello, Arthur. Mary. A long time no see. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's his name? Died. Oh. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh. Yeah, me too. Her husband died. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad oh, business. wow. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. He was hoping. I can tell he was hoping. I, uh, my family, I need your help. You okay. mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help them? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. How? Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm so, sorry. So you come we crawling back to him. Real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. How You're do you the know? the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often... Is it because you're trying to sweet talk me into I'm helping you? you, Arthur? I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? I mean, he did make a point. Jamie has been good to him. And I'm curious to see what's going on with the brother as well, so. Okay. Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. I'm only the doing it for Jamie, say, not for you. Seen him around you hear me? The Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. The thing is, I don't... Owe me. I don't know. It's like, it's like, yeah, you'll owe me, but at the same time, I don't really care enough for you to owe me like that. This is Lover of Ladies here. Like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. And hit the notification button as well, so you know when I upload my videos. Like I said, I'm only doing this because I want to help Jamie. I could not care less about Mary, honestly. And I can tell Arthur is not really... He has a lot of resentment towards her as well, so... Let's see what's going on with Jamie. Let's see if this religious cult is bad news. And if it's not, then I'm just let Jamie be, honestly. Oh, come on. Really? How unfortunate for you. Seriously? Could you uh, please take me to town, please? Oh, you're a good man. A good man. 
Yeah, go, go, hurry up. Right on my saddle. What the hell? Oh, you asshole. Wow. Wow, the audacity. The audacity for you to try and steal from me. <laughs> you did a really, really bad thing, honestly. And you know what's the funny part? I just couldn't care less. Hold on, where's my horse? Is my horse spooked? Darn it, now I gotta go and find my horse. But yeah, that's the reality of Red Dead Redemption. You can never judge a book by its cover. And just when you thought you were trying to help someone, they pull off that. Honestly, though, okay, he got what he deserved because he has some audacity to try and rob me, of all people. And look, look at the guy. He's looking, and he walks away, minding his business. That is so hilarious. Let's go. I'm done with this. Okay. Let me get off here and see exactly what I'm dealing with because I'm up high in the mountains. And they're, what, having a kumbaya moment? Um, I just want to talk. I'm not gonna hurt anyone. Just answer a couple of questions and we should be on our merry way. Damn. Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Gonna speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, sir. Yeah. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen yeah. a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. This what is safety? Path have you chosen, sir? Up in the mountains? <sighs> I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. I've never what heard of that before. For, do you think? I don't know. <sighs> Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Thank you. I appreciate that. Teachings are so great. What harm can I do? Yeah, I'm, I just want to talk. I'm not. I'm not coming with you, Arthur. Just come and speak with Mary. Then make up your mind. Oh, come on, you son. I didn't ask for your help. Bro, why are you running away from me? I just want to talk to you. And now you're running away as if I'm some sort of a madman. Yeah, because your sister wrote me a letter asking for help. They're just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Oh, man, this boy is having me go through a wild goose chase. And he's giving me lip. That's really cute. This is the last time I'm going to go help Mary with some Stop. family Stop issues. I was doing just fine by myself. Your sister wants to talk to you, Jamie. How bad is it that you're willing to run? Oh, great. Using my own words against me. Come on, Jamie. Oh, I mean, you have a point. You don't necessarily have to answer to me. But your sister 
wants to talk to you. Oh, what happened to peace? And sincerely, Jamie. Oh, he really is shooting. He dead ass is shooting. Like a dumbass. Excuse my French, but still, Jamie. Okay. Cool. Please, Arthur. I'm a man now. I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. There goes your horse. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Whoa. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. All right, let's go. No! Okay, yes, I gotta do it again. Uh, let's go, cause that's crazy. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't wanna live anymore! Kid, yeah, I can tell. Down. Leave me alone! Okay, alright. No! Cut it out! Now calm down! Stop it right now. You really trying to kill yourself? You done? Okay. 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 Oof. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? Yeah, but you've know. calmed down your senses, so. I don't know enough about it. Well, one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are Aww. you and Mary sweet on one another again? I don't even know. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah, she don't want yeah. me no more. All she wants is to make sure you're this good. This wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. You didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. Oh, come they on! Ah, the, oh, man. They sound like a cult. I just wanted to a scam. Be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. That's right, hey, Arthur. Talk about him like that. Mm. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He's not, yeah, that's for that's sure. You. Please send him my worst regards. Thing is, he's right. No, he's I'm not. not. Don't let him get into your head like that. Tell me something you like. He's self-projecting his insecurities to you. Um, don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. Alright, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. Uh-huh. Sure he did. Among yeah, other things. With Dutch and, what was his name? H Hester? Here we are. She must be waiting inside. All right. Here you go. Here's a drop-off. Let's go. I'm just glad I was able to save you from committing 
uh, um, sewer yeah, side. Her, aren't you? What the hell? Are you psychoanalyzing me? Don't do that, kid. Trust me. I've had enough of today as is. Especially with seeing your sister for the first time in a long time. I mean, it would be nice if it was under different circumstances. Don't be rushing me. Don't give me no lip, boy. Anyways, let's go. She's right through this door. She'll be happy to see you, too. Jamie! Jamie! Come home! Please, you've... Father's been very sad. Father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. At least they're able to get away. I would too, honestly. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. That's all you have to say for real? You know, Arthur, she ain't shit, and you'll find a better woman than her, that's for sure. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. I could see that why. woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. That's because deep within your heart, you still love her, I can tell, and you'll do anything for her. Nothing wrong with that, it's just sad how she took your kindness as your weakness. Enough of that, Jezebel, though. I noticed that John Morrison is right in this building, so let me see what type of trouble he's in now. Hello? Yes, I love a scenery montage. Always so, gets me going, you know? Better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Yeah. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon. We'll be shot we'll dead. Loose. Exactly. I worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm a workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well... You was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way... Well, we're the last, I reckon. Ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. And what is that something? What the newspaper? There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse, and I'll meet you across the street. Okay. I already don't like how this is going. Man, John, you better have a good plan. I know a half-assed, brainless scheme. This better be good. 
I just love how I threw the lasso against the stand and then magically tied itself John around. Yep. Oh, John. You, uh, head in, pick up the sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Hello. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Eh, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. If you want to see what we've got, it's all in the catalog here. Hey, all right. Let me see. A rifle with a sniper. How much is it? It better be good. <gasps> Ooh, and it's for free? Say no more. Uh, components, barrel. Let me see. Ooh, I'm about to turn up of this toy. Hold on. Let me see something. Can I customize it? <gasps> Wait, hold on. Ooh, the, I could change the color? Oh my goodness. What about carvings? Grip. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. Okay, what about engravings? No. Okay. Wait, let me zoom. This is so cute. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just looking at all of this here. This is beautiful. Okay. All right. So let me return to the catalog. Hold to close. And that's it. That's really cool. I love how you're able to customize. Let me see here. Items. Am I able to... Hold on. Let me go ahead and browse the catalog again because honestly, maybe I want to get some cleaning supplies for my guns, you know? Uh, I don't want any shells. And let me see. Yes, gun oil. Okay, thank you. And I basically bought out all of the inventory of gun oil because I definitely need to clean my guns. Okay, let me see what John wants now. Honestly, can I maintain this? Clean. And with the gun oil, it's gonna be all nice and... Wow, what a beauty! Yes, I'm that type. Don't judge me. Whatever. Let me maintain this bad boy here, too. And let me clean this. Gotta make sure my weapons are on point, you know? Nice. I just love the fact that you can watch your character clean their weapon. This is fantastic. The details, how immersive it is. Does this need cleaning, too? Let me see. Nope, it's good, actually. Let me see what else. Can I clean this, or not? Nah? Hey, hey, sorry, sorry. My bad. I was not trying to scare anyone. I was just trying to see if I can, like, clean. Yo, that guy was about to fight me. He's like, who are you trying to scare? Sir, come down. You see me cleaning my weapons for a hot second. Yeah. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. Uh, I had a run in with that fella earlier. Of course we you did. Of course. Yeah. Why am I not surprised? I had a run in with half that town. And I'm Come still walking down. around. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? And suspicious. Always playing some goddamn game. Cause that's Man. all you're good at. Yeah, you. I the one taking Jack on fishing trips. Oh, you're jealous. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. The shade. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know so, that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl. Ooh. What was her name? Mary? 
Oh! No, Speaking ain't. of the devil! Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know that place. Wow, they really went in on each other. And from what John said, it seems like he's pretty jealous of the fact that I'm close with his boy. But Arthur also has a point. Like, you're not in the kid's life. Why do you care? Whoa, whoa. Let's head up to the ridge up there. Get a proper view. Okay. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collecting on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. You want me to snipe someone? Let's Is that see it? We can see from up here. Yo, he really wants me to snipe someone. Man, this... It, are you trying to make me play Hitman or something? Who am I sniping at, John? You need to tell me right now. Okay. I think that's them over there. Oh, Boy, those man. cowboys? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Okay, so we're talking about this? Yeah, they they're well, off. I'm going scared too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. That ought to do it. Yeah, he's running away. Like a scaredy cat. All right. Let's go round him up. Really? We're rounding up sheep? Okay. I guess. We did all that just to get some Let's sheep. Get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here, there, but not much. Those cowboys I know were dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the Oh, yards. that's a big jump. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Okay. So right here, right? Look at them sheeps. That's so cool. All right, come on. Should I shout? Come on. Look at that. Where's the others? Come here. Get your butts out here. Come on. Come on. Get. Get to it. Right now. Hurry up. Wow, that was actually pretty easy. I'm surprised. All right, I think we got them all. Let's head to town. You know what? Really? Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank. Keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to herd. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. You're going the wrong way. Okay, cool. So let me go to the map, right? And then we'll go the right way. Okay, sweet. You ain't helping. Come on. Come on, shoot. Nice. Come on. There you go. Get. Get. Let's go. Come on. There you go. What a good boy. Oh, man. This is going to be a pain. I can tell. Come on. 
Get. Come on. Get. Come on. Keep moving. Keep going on that trail. Back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. Exactly. I'm doing a really good job too, honestly. Move out my way, John. I got this. Or do I? Oh my goodness. This is going to be a lot more harder than I thought. I'm not going to lie. Come on. Come on. Bah. Bah. I know, right? Come on. Get. To it, little sheeps. Bah, bah. Let me stop. They really aren't following my directions. All 15 of them. This is crazy. I mean, I'm impressed. I'm not going to lie, but still. Yep. Not bad, right? All right. Who's straggling behind? Come on. Hurry up. Stop following behind. Get to it. I'm not in the mood for any lost sheep. Do you hear me? We're almost to Valentine anyways. Go, go. Hurry up. Look at these little sheeps. How cute. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. Get to it. Come on. Move. Hurry up. This way. There you go. There you go. Hurry up. Come on. There you go. There you go. Nice. We got a sheep, a straggler. Come on. Get inside. There you go. Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback. What? I won't say nothing to nobody. I should shoot you. All right here. Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you. For 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Damn, John, really? Calm yourself, friend. Ah, oh, screw you. Cents. Okay, whatever. We're paying. Go on now. Damn, 18%. You'll get your money. Uh, whatever. For what? What he wants? What does he want now? Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you guys next week.